I joined the Beagle Club in 1947 when I come out of service. Well, we used to have club trials about every week, but then we had license trials once a year at our club. Mm -hmm. But other clubs had tri license trials all over the country, which used to travel around. 1932, a group of guys interested in forming a Beagle Club discussed the possibility and the result of the first meeting of the Long Island Beagle Club was held in July 1933 in Nassau County Courthouse. And then in, in the fall of 33, the first Beagle Club field trial was held on the grounds of the Ghoul Estate. Ghoul Estate. And when did we move to Riverhead? In yeah. 70, uh, let's see, I think it was 1972. Yeah, 1972. And it, it's we just... bought Donahue's property on Edwards Avenue. What are some of your best memories of the Beagle Club? <laughs> best memories of everything. Of my life. <laughs> I guess I'm the oldest Beagle, Beagle uh, Club member alive. I'm 90 years old. And uh, I guess I'm the oldest member yet. It's, a, it's 150, 155 acres, I think it is, or 150 acres. I would like to see it be preserved and not being sold to a developer. Yeah. It's a beautiful piece of property. But we never allowed any rabbit hunting on our ground until recently, until we don't have any more field trails. So now we, one of the members, in fact, Doug Conklin, got permission to hunt rabbits in there. We have 26 stockholders. And out of the 26 stockholders, there's about 19 members, still members, mm -hmm. living. And the stockholders, are own, they own the club. <clears throat> One time we had an 80, uh, we had an 80 uh, membership limit. We used to have a membership, we used to have a waiting list to join the club. Had to go before a membership committee to get into the club. 